this video is a follow-up video to the video that i recently did on how to get your disabled instagram accounts back by chatting with a live facebook agent so in this video i'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to actually chat with a facebook live agent and probably try to talk them out in getting your disabled instagram accounts back since putting up the video i've received a couple of requests on people wanting me to help them so i'm i believe that this video is going to answer most of the questions that i've been receiving in my dms now it must be noted that i'm not an expert in art creation but i'm basically going to share with exactly what worked for me so we're going to look at how to actually establish or create an ad and then we are going to look at after creating the ad how do you actually reach out to the facebook live agent and chat with them hi my name is innocent welcome to the channel if this is your first time over here i do mostly photoshop tutorials and sometimes tech videos like this if that's something that sounds like interested kindly consider subscribing now without any further ado let's jump right into the video so in the previous video i made mention that the first thing you need to do is you need to create a facebook page so over here you realize that i have a couple of facebook pages that i created including this one that i basically created purposely for when my account got disabled so you might actually want to create some facebook pages and make sure that when you're creating you make it a business page so that you have this kind of business suite and all that in your facebook page so once you have the facebook page created what you need to do next is you need to go to the facebook ads manager now if you don't have the facebook ads manager you're going to use this particular link that i'll provide in the description it will take you there straight away and then you can actually create an ad manager an ad manager is basically the starting point of running facebook ads and instagram ads so if you don't have an ad manager you cannot run a facebook ad once you have the facebook ad manager you need to create what we call a, an ad account an ad account is basically going to be a special account that you're going to be able to use it to create ads so once you have all of these things in place the first thing you need to do is you need to create an ad so over here you realize that i have this particular ad account that i'm going to use for this particular purpose but if i click on create more or add more you see that i have a second ad account so you can switch the account over here or you can create more ad accounts for separate pages okay so once i have selected an ad account i'll then go ahead and click on create now the first thing we are going to select or the first thing we are going to consider is what are we creating the ad for so in this case let's assume that we are creating the ads for traffic we want to drive traffic onto our website so what we do is we select the traffic over here and then you click on continue now you need to give the ad a name let's give this ad for instance tutorial traffic okay now once you've selected this you just head over straight to the bottom and then you click on next at this point you're going to answer exactly where you want to drive your audience to or where you want to drive their traffic to so we are going to select a website and then we move on to the very bottom part over here another most important thing that you need to consider is your budget so we are going to set a budget for this one and we are going to set something like four dollars it can be from one dollar upwards so that means that you're going to like it states over here you're going to spend one dollar per day for the number of days that you are going to set for this particular ad now you are then going to choose exactly where you want to start so let's assume that we want to start from the very day that we are creating the ad so today is 3rd december so let's assume that we want to start from the fourth and you select the time and then you head over to the end date now if you don't set the end date it is going to take one dollar from your mastercard your visa card any day every single day from the day of starting the ad so we are going to select the end day option and we are going to choose let's say we want to run the ad for we start from fourth so we want to run it for one week so seven that's going to be probably like seven dollars okay from there we move on to 
select our audience so you want to search for exactly where you want your audience to come from so let's assume that i'm currently in ghana so let's search for something like ghana and it is going to so the ad is probably going to be shown to the people in ghana once you've said that you can move on to the very bottom over here and then you click on next at this point you're going to select the facebook page so sometimes the facebook page that you created might not work so you need to create that is why you need to create some something like some more that you can use so over here i chose a different instagram account that i created when my instagram account got blocked so if you've created a backup instagram account you can actually use it over here in support of this particular ad that you want to run and at this point you're going to choose the format that you want to use so i select this one you want to choose the format that you want to use we want to use a single image or video and then we can create we can come to the ad creative over here at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a media that i want to use so i'm going to click on add an image and then you realize from here that i've already got some images that i recently used this is one that i used in my previous ad that i created if you don't have one already you can just go to the upload over here and then you can upload your image but i'm going to make use of this particular one and i'll go ahead and click on next this is how your image is going to look like in the various platforms or the various sections on facebook for stories and ads for feeds and in-stream videos and for right column and search instant articles this is how your ad is going to pop up so once you are okay with this you can of course crop any one of them or reposition them but once you are okay with this you can then go ahead and click on next now you might decide to allow enhancement on this especially if what you are using is an image or something so you can allow facebook to automatically enhance your picture for instance you can enhance an image like this to something like that but if you don't want that also you can left click over here and leave it so i want the enhancement so i'm going to take that and i'll go ahead and click on done now once you click on done you see a preview of your ad this is how your ad is going to look like over here and then at this point you are going to tell the people exactly what you want or exactly what this ad is about so i'm going to type something like if you are interested in learning so this is exactly what people are going to see when they actually come across your ad we can actually forgo the headline over here and we can move on to exactly where we want to direct the traffic to so i'm going to input my website over here innocentkbwatin.com so i'm going to add the www.innocentkbwatin.com and this is the url that we are going to use so basically you realize over here that when people click on this then they are going to be directed to my website after you're done with this and you you've taken time to fill out every form there should be a, an option for you to publish over here but in the previous ads that i ran my account actually got disabled so i have an outstanding payment to make so i cannot publish this particular ad but if this is the first time you are creating an ad and probably if you have your cards everything in place after you've taken the time to go through all of this you should be able to see an option for you to publish over here and that is how you can basically create an ad for your facebook page and that is going to be the step one in trying to get the live chat support from facebook so after you've published your ad you need to wait for 24 hours to 48 hours maxis but i know people who have gone for 72 hours or sometimes like four or five business working days so you just need to give yourself some time for facebook to process this ad for you and once you receive an alert that your mastercard your visa card your paypal has been debited and the ad is running then you should be able to move to step two and by step two i mean that you head over to google and then you are going to search for facebook ad support chat this one right over here facebook ad support chat so you left click on that and it is going to open an option for you now you're going to click on the first one that says that facebook business help center i'm going to leave a link to this particular url in the description you can check that if you don't want to go through all this stress so after you're done with this you need to left click on this and it is going to open the facebook business help center for you 
but you notice something over here since i have created an ad previously even though my ads couldn't go through because i'm probably owing facebook but since i have created an ad before i still have the option to get in chat with facebook live agents that means that if you're able to run just one ad you should be able to have this particular option to chat with facebook live now if your ads does not go through if your card is not charged if, if facebook does not charge your card if the ads is not running there is no way you are going to have this particular option that is what most people that are reaching out to me on instagram are currently facing once you place the ad you just need to give it some time for facebook to start running it and most importantly facebook is very critical about their monies so until they charge your account until they deduct the accounts from your card your paypal your mastercard visa card you're not going to have this option so if you wait for facebook to charge then you probably should have this option and once you have this option you scroll down to this very part and then you go to get started so you left click on that and it is going to take you to a new page that says that need help with advertising we are going to contact the advertising support so you left click on that as well and then it is going to take you to another option now at this point you're going to select a particular page that you want to use to contact facebook and i would recommend that if you connected your page to your instagram account you use that particular page for instance i connected my page to this particular account so when i was trying to contact facebook in the first place i used this account but the sad part was that because the account was connected to my instagram account that got disabled i wasn't able to use this particular account so what i did was i had to use this particular account that i created and i connected it to the backup instagram account that i used so i'm going to select this particular one for instance and then you're going to select an issue so what exactly is wrong with your account now put in mind that this is not you trying to connect to facebook live support for your instagram disabled instagram account this is the facebook ad support so you realize that over here you can have a couple of things but one thing you realize that it is all about ad account ad account ad account so let's load more and we can choose the other business manager issue once you choose that you're going to input in your email address over here and probably you're going to input in your phone number and then you're going to give a brief discussion of what has actually happened to your account so you can go to you can type in something like so you are basically trying to tell facebook that your account has been disabled wrongly and at this point you need them to help you get your account back now once you have this you can actually go ahead and select or send a screenshot of your account your disabled account and that was, that is going to be a proof that your account has indeed been disabled so you can go to select file over here and you can add a file but i'm not for the sake of this tutorial because i've already done it i'm not actually going to have to do that again now you realize over here that you have an average time of four minutes for facebook to respond back to you and once you have everything over here you realize that there will be a start chat over here and you can then go ahead and left click on that and this is going to load and send you to messenger it is going to open in messenger for you and you can start chatting with a facebook live agent right out so you can see that you have the option to connect to facebook messenger and i'm going to use my account to connect to messenger and we wait for it to open for us and just like that you realize that it opens the facebook business support with the blue tick over here and that means that you've connected to facebook and you can actually start chatting right away with any agent that so it says that a representative will join you shortly and this is actually the previous chat that i had with them when my account got disabled and by following the same process that i've taught in this video you are likely to end up in this place and you can then explain everything to the live agents that will 
actually join you and you can give them what actually happened and probably they are going to be able to support you now you well one thing you have to put at the back of your mind is that not every agent that is going to join it will be able to help you but then you need to give it a try you don't need to give up you just need to give it a try even if it takes up to 20 agents you need to give it a try and by continuously being persistent and trying to talk to them you might be lucky to meet that one person that is going to take the pain to go through what actually happened to your account and probably get your account back for you and yes i hope i've explained everything thoroughly in this video with regards to the first video that i made i believe the first video wasn't detailed enough but this step-by-step -step process i believe is going to be able to help you try to get your account back if this video was helpful you can go ahead and subscribe and give this a like so that it will be shown to more people and probably you'll be able to help somebody to get their account back thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video to this very part if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel it will be so very uplifting i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye